Late night, I've been on my grind, running all my time, about to lose my mind. I said, hey, I, I could change your life. Give it one more night, give it one more try. Hey guys, it's Finn17 back in the video, and today the Madden Harvest promo is out in Madden Mall 24. I'm going to be showing you guys, of course, what to do, uh, you know, once you get into this promo and kind of just get started. Before we do start, make sure to leave a like on the video, join my Discord server, link will be in the description, and let's try to get 100 likes on this video. That would be awesome. And the post notification shout out because to this person on the screen right there, thank you for having your post notifications on. If you guys do want to post notification shout out, make sure to be subscribed, have notifications on, be the first people to comment on my videos, and let's get straight into this, guys. So, uh, as you can see, the promo is out. You can get yourself a free Epic player, uh, you know, just by doing uh, what I'm about to tell you. For completing uh, the hard stage, so there's three stages, easy, medium, and hard. You guys can see the achievements here. There are also other achievements here, but uh, you can see for completing the medium stage, you do get yourself a rare player, the easy stage, a hard nameplate. And just for completing all the challenges on the hard stage, you do get yourself a 116 overall in Madden Harvest Epic player, which is very, very awesome. So all you got to do is just play through these uh, last chain of events right here. And you have to be a 3,800 overall, which is insane. I was boosted anyway, but my team on boosted is definitely not that good. But uh, if you are 3,800 overall at this point in the game, you should be able to get yourself that free epic player. If not, you have time to either boost or improve your team, you know, to get there so you can play those events. But that's pretty much it for that. Uh, as far as for the rest of the promo, you do have uh, a bonus section here where you can get additional tokens, which is pretty awesome. And uh, how you do these is that you got to collect hardest players to unlock additional challenges. The challenges reset daily at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So I would definitely make sure to do these, uh, you know, as quick as you can uh, for as many as you can. Uh, and as you can see, you can also get them for completing, it looks like, Iconics as well. Um as far as trades, it doesn't look like anything uh, out of the ordinary. It's just the same, uh, you know, kind of thing. Uh, you have your uh, tokens to get uncommons, uncommons to get rares, rares to get epics, all that. You can see the iconic foils and the mythic players. Uh, four to start, we have Chase Young, Kevin Mawe, uh, Champ Bailey, and Brian Anger, mythic punter, which is absolutely hilarious. And then all your cosmetics uh, as well right there. Uh, as far as the store, you do have the event pass again. Um, let me just go over this super quick. Uh, you do have the event pass uh, coming back. Uh, it's 30 bucks. You do get yourself a iconic player select at the end. In my honest opinion, if you guys are asking if I got this, I did not get this for the last one. In my opinion, it's not as worth it for 30 bucks as the field pass is uh, just for an iconic. I mean, that's just me personally. But, uh, you know, you, if you want to spend, you definitely can. Not saying don't, but if you're asking what I did and my, my stance on it, it's, I don't know. I don't think it's a great deal. Um, I would much rather just save up the $30 for the field pass that's coming tomorrow. As far as trades and objectives, it's the same thing. You can get yourself now points and everything like that. Uh, it looks like you can get <laughs> Madden Harvest points already, even though Madden Harvest uh, you know, isn't out yet. Uh, unless you can just get Madden Harvest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Madden Harvest points for the, uh, the Madden Harvest milestones. I forgot about that. So... Let's open up a quick pack here. We get nothing good. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. It's a very simple promo. All you got to do is basically just play through the events again. Uh, the journey. Uh, you're going to want to do the ones at the end. I'll have a video on how to get the Masters fast uh, so you guys can, you know, definitely know how to do that. But this is just kind of an overview. Uh, I would definitely do all, at least the easy stage once. In my opinion, the medium stage might not be as worth it. But the easy stage, at least do it once to get the banner because you're never going to get a chance to get it again unless they re-release it somehow. But... That is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next time.